for several several bags of human remains. And those bags were found inside her boyfriend's Detroit home. Fox 2's Veronica Meadows joins us live tonight. And Veronica, this is just a horrific story. Yeah, the devastation and grief for this family is just beginning. And now, adding to their heartbreak, investigators made a gruesome discovery in the mom's disappearance. Investigators say they found Latima Warren's remains scattered around her home. She was just a sweet, bubbly young lady, you know. Um, she just she gave you really the shirt off her back. Gwen Parks remembers the happy times. She says her loved one, Latima Warren, was a mom of four with a sweet soul. But now Parks has to have an unimaginable conversation. But I have to tell two of these kids. <sighs> Parks is the mom of Warren's ex and the grandma of their older kids. Parks says she first knew something wasn't right when she stopped by Warren's and her boyfriend's home near Tyreman and Vaughn on Detroit's west side last month. He told me he had them seen. Um, team in four days and you didn't call anyone, you didn't say anything to anyone. So Parks filed a missing persons report, put up flyers and called police every day. I still want to know. I don't know. When it all said and done, I did not give up looking for her and I knew she was out there. Then on Monday and Tuesday, Parks says investigators found Warren's dismembered body in bags scattered around the couple's home. Investigators say a child was home at the time. I don't want to just even picture her being cut up and dismangled by, by this guy. The pain she had to be going through. This, this is not a human that would do something like this to a person. Police arrested Warren's boyfriend and are calling him a suspect. Now as the grief sets in, Park says she'll always remember Warren's sweet smile and loving heart. It means a lot to me to have closure because, you know what, I know people go years without um, finding their loved ones. And this is not how I wanted to find her, but I didn't want to give up. Can somebody please help me understand this story and when will people just see the truth for what it is? How can a man, what kind of drugs was this man on? What kind of man would cut up his girlfriend and put the body parts in bags in different places in the house and the kids there? the youngest who what this this is a boyfriend not a husband this is just a a regular pookie a, a, a boyfriend that moved in with his girl or however the situation and he killed this woman no he okay and Yes, it's a, on on both sides. It's messed up. White man, this depart or black woman, messed up. But do you know how many stories about black men departing and and doing putting women bodies in 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 the garbage um garbage cans? This is this is why. Cynthia G is winning. This is why Nala can, can, can keep on bringing it because of these kind of stories. A man cut up, took the pieces of, of this woman had children. But women, this is what I'm saying. 
If a man can't put a ring on your finger the first year, he should have a friendship, some kind of, that should be the first ring, second ring, should be the engagement. Or if you in love and y'all be tight like that, he sh you should have an engagement ring the first year. You should be married between three years to five, to, but, but four, five, you wasting your time. A lot of women just got to have a man. It's nothing wrong with being with a black man, but find you a black man that respect you. And this is what a lot of these content sayers are saying. Cynthia G and others, I'm not kissing ass. I'm just seeing it for what it is. Not every black man is the target, the, the trash bag or the garbage bag. But we accept those men who are. This is a coward. All right, y'all got to go. Peace.